This is code.org. Let's tackle the random RGB challenge. I'm going to click. All right, what do we have here? Random, what's it do though? Ah, okay. Random RGB, so random red, green, blue. You have learned how to randomize things. Yes, we have. So it's time to put the, all the knowledge to use in this scene. Right now, all the colors are in this scene are set using both RGB and random randomize the colors here. Oh, okay. So set, they're solid, right? They're not moving. And again, remember, this is red, green, blue. So for instance, if I were to zero out uh, red, zero out the five and the 55, red, green, blue. So this should be just a very bright blue. Or I zero this out to 55 red. It's just red now. Boom. All right, let me just go back to what it was, though. Undo, undo, undo. All right, so they want us to randomize the colors right now. Okay, how to do that? Well, notice there's numbers in here. And if there's a number, we can use a random number. Keep in mind for colors, they RGB can be between 0 and 255. So think of it almost as like pigments or intensity. You can have no red pigment or 255 would be like all of it. All right, so let me grab random number here, and I'm going to go 0, 255. Let's see what this will do. Yeah, is it going to be different? Yeah, so it is changing some, and all that's changing, though, is the red right now, right? We've only randomized the red spot. So let me throw one here in the blue, and same thing, 0, 255. And so now it has even more variability. And if we also randomize green, let me go joop. And, doop, and do 0, 255. Now we have a whole lot of variance. Okay. And so that will randomize the background. So what else could we do? Well, we can randomize whatever we want with this type of approach. So I'm going to then throw in, and there's a lot of ellipses here. What I'm going to do is I'll do one more like I just did there, and I'm going to pick, I guess, this one. Random, random, random. And then I'll do 0, 255, 0, 255, 0, 255. Probably can't see that. Yep. Reset run. So that's this outer one. Now, do I really want to put random number like this and for all of them? That could get tiring. We can also use variables. So let's see if we have that option. We do. All right. So I'm also going to do var, var, var. And what I'm going to say this is, is color one, color two, color three. And I can even do a color four if I want to, because we need this to be, uh, to give us options. So let me do random, random, random for each of these. And I'll do zero, 255, zero, 255, zero, 255. Now, how this works is we know that once this runs, it will only run random once, and that will be the color. So that will be a locked number. However, let's say for this one, I'm going to do color one, color two, color three. But then the next one down, I'm going to do fill as color two first, then color three, then color one. Because if I change up this order, then that's a different amount of color pigment, right? So now if color one is 60. Okay, so up here, it would be 60 red pigment. But here I put color one over here. So now that's 60 blue, they'll be vastly different. And we can keep going with this, right? And that way, we don't have to keep writing the whole thing. So now maybe I'll do color three, color two, color one. And then down here, I'll do, have I started? Yep, I've started. So now let's put color one in the middle. So color two, color three, color four, color five, color six, 
color one and then color whoops three okay and now let's put color one can go in the middle again because we can switch it up so color one color two color three color three's only been in the middle once so we can put it in the middle again color one color two and then one at the start two at the start three at the start two at the start three so we can also now use colors multiple times right so it can i'm gonna say color one or right, here let's do color three color color three color one and now that will never be the same as any other color okay so it it's an easier way to i mean it's the power of variables let's see what it looks like <laughs> randomness rah, 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 rah. and if you want more variants you could also throw in another color or like i just did down here you could have repeat colors i could say mm, yeah, I could always, if I want it limited and I want less than one, I can always do like color one divided by two. And that will limit the amount of blue that's ever going to be in that color that I just did that to. So lots of tricks, but we have a heck of a random color right now.